Hello Ola and Bonjour everybody, this is Doug from Macrobros Bros Bodybuilding representing half of MB3. Three. And today I have a video regarding one of my, kind of like what was in one of my last videos, it's basically eating healthier so you can eat a higher volume of food with the same nutritional value. Now what that means is you're going to stay fuller and get the most out of your food instead of eating more, not so much processed food, but kind of junk food that you can fit into your diet and still lose weight. Now, why I think this is important is because the more food that you eat, the less likely you are to cheat on your diet because you'll be more full. And I was packing my lunch for tomorrow and I ran into a real life situation of how this is true because I was packing strawberries and when I looked it up on my fitness pal, for 200 grams it's only 15 carbs, which is pretty crazy. So then I took a few other items and uh, I measured it out to where that ratio would be 15 carbs as well. and you'll see the comparison. As you can see I have 200 grams of cut up strawberries after they're washed and such. Some caramel corn, this is about 18 grams, and some marshmallows which is about 17 grams. Surprisingly enough these all have the same nutritional value except for this might have a little bit more because it has some fat to it. This is pretty much pure sugar but still nonetheless 15 carbs. 15 carbs and 15 carbs. If you don't believe me that this is 200 grams of strawberries I'll actually show you guys. Um, here's my scale. There it is, zero grams. I'll take the weight of the plate off with the same plate. I'll set it on there. It's about 240 grams, so I'll set it to zero now. Take it off. It'll show negative 240. Put this one on with the strawberries. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's 197 grams. So if you really don't believe me, you can look it up and see for yourself that that's 15 carbs. And basically the whole point of this <clears throat> is just showing you guys how you can really get the most out of your food if you eat healthier. And obviously you can fit this other stuff into your diet, but I think you'll just be the happiest if you don't, only because uh, you'll be able to eat more food and you'll be fuller. Anyway, that's just my take on it, and I don't want to hold you guys too long, but I just thought it'd be cool to give a real-life example of this instead of just talking about it, so you, it's a lot easier to understand. And um, Yeah, so hopefully it helps some of you guys out. And I don't know if you agree or disagree. I mean, that's up to you. You can do what you want, but make sure you follow Matthew on his uh, powerlifting journey I don't really know what to call it he's really making a lot of progress and it really makes me want to get back to Balkan and get some more gains but I'm still on this cut and it's working pretty well I'm about eight weeks out so almost there and then I'll start my bulk again but um, anyway I hope you guys like this video speaking of that you can actually like this video throw down a comment and even subscribe remember guys there's always more on the way so stay tuned I've been doing a five by five uh, method where I actually use the same amount of weight for all five reps and all five sets. And play the truth, it's just plain boring.